Welcome CAD community. My name is Reagan Milligan. I'm a third year construction management student. I'd like to introduce a very special guest today, Dan Rogers. Dan is the president of Block Construction. Thanks for joining me today, Dan. Yeah, no problem. Happy Friday. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to uh, participate in the interview. Awesome. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about your career path and how you ended up as the president at Block? Sure. Um, so I grew up in San Jose, uh, California, and my, my father was a home builder. So I kind of grew up around construction and um, really thought it's what I wanted to do as a career. So um, my last summer before I graduated, I went to work for Pacific Gas and Electric, pg and &E, in their construction division, and worked on some really cool projects. Um, and then graduated in um, 1992, uh you're too young to remember <laughs> reagan but uh 92 was a really challenging economic times it was kind of kind of like where we are today in many ways where you know the average student was getting a ton of offers and all of a sudden like literally overnight it just sort of the faucet got turned off um but i kind of stayed after it there was no uh, internet back then there was no um you know electronic bulletin boards it was kind of old-fashioned calling people leveraging people you knew and um Got a job actually at Stanford University in their construction group um, and spent about eight years there. And, and that gave me a really interesting perspective into um, an owner's view of both the design process and the building construction process. So kind of a different perspective than maybe you'd get specifically as, as a, working at a general contractor. Um, and it was great experience in terms of complexity of projects, um, really managing uh, a lot of complicated, challenging political issues and working in an institution like Stanford, um, and then some really sophisticated and complex projects. So was, for me, the eight years I spent there was just a great um, learning experience. And then um, a friend of mine who, who was uh, going to grad school at Stanford when I worked there, we became good friends, uh, had graduated and came to work at Block Construction. He called me up one day and said, hey, we ought to have lunch and talk a little bit and we did and they were they were starting to uh, look at some different markets and thought I could be a real help and so I uh, kind of took the big leap of faith and came over to Block when it was kind of at a different time in a much smaller place and um, and then you know here it is sort of 20 years later so this is uh, this is actually my 19th year at Block next uh, spring will be 20 and it's been um, it's been great. I was um, started off as like a project executive, you know, sort of managing teams and select clients, and then um, uh, became the COO, chief operating officer. And I was in that role for about nine years or so um, until I took over as president about two and a half years ago. So it's been great. We have a great team here, as you know. Uh, we're our best places to work. We we're number one in the mid-sized category last year. Something we're really proud of and. We just have a great culture. We like to have a lot of fun. We like to take on really cool projects. And uh, it's the beauty of where we reside, you know, geographically, the Bay Area gives you a chance to work on some really cool work. And, and um, yeah, so it's, just, it's, a, it's been an exciting run and, and I'm really glad I'm here. Yeah, yeah I couldn't agree more. Block, um, Block has the best people. Um, that's why I chose to come back again this summer. Is, you know, Block is a member of the Construction Management Advisory Council Board, um, so CMAC. And why did you guys join and what do members of CMAC do? So I think what we would like to do over time is really just give input to the, um, to the department on, on industry trends we're seeing, make them aware of it and get those introduced into curriculum over time so the students come out with a skill set that just allows them to flourish kind of from day one. Yeah, absolutely. That totally makes sense. Um, kind of going along with that, what do you think separates a good employee from a great one or a good project manager from a great one? I think the, I think the folks that come in with a sort of a humble, open mind, like I'm going to come in, I'm going to work hard. And I'm just really going to try to learn a lot. You know, I mean, you've, you've learned a lot in your last four years but it's really like the tip of the iceberg in terms of real experience, right? And so um, I think the folks that do the best here come in, roll up their sleeves, start making relationships throughout the company, like from day one, 
right? Because, you know, our business, you can sort of become siloed if you're with a team out on a site. And I, I just really encourage our folks to develop relationships throughout the company, you know, starting from the beginning. But because you're going to need those relationships as you move up through the company and you're going to need to leverage people and their, um, their expertise as you run into challenges. I mean, the nice thing about a company like Block is, you know, there's a lot of smart people around here that can help solve problems. Um, so we don't want, there's nobody has to be a super person all by themselves. So there's, a, there's a lot of help around. And, and I think people that ask a lot of questions and aren't afraid to tell people they don't know something do really well with us. Um, what is your most memorable project? It can be something that you learned um, that was really significant or one that you're most proud of. And then, you know, more recently, we just finished the um, Bechtel Center for Education for the Monterey Bay Aquarium down on Cannery Row. And it's, uh, it's just a really cool project that, um, you know, literally hundreds of thousands of, of um, kids, students throughout the state of California are going to be able to use as an education center for the next, hopefully, many decades. And so it's really cool, you know, location, great design, and um, it was a project we were really proud of to be part of and really proud of the outcome. So yeah, those are some of the most memorable ones. It's definitely uh, really cool to see how construction projects affect so many people's daily lives and like the students that will be able to use the education center at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. So yeah, for sure. My last question for you is, do you have any words of encouragement for students during this time? Yeah, I think just hang in there. The, the world's not going to end. Um, you know, I think, um, again, be patient throughout this whole thing. Um, you know, I think as a society, we're all going to have to kind of, you know, pitch in as we bounce back, as we, as we get through the COVID health part of it, and then deal with the economy uh, challenges that may be out there. And so, you know, I, I just wouldn't lose sight of the fact if you're a, a student coming out of a great program today, you know, thank your parents immensely. For getting you through there. Um, the great thing about education is it's something that like nobody can ever take away from you, right? And so, you know, maybe your path isn't the path that you thought um, over the past four years, but, you know, when you graduate from college, you're still a relatively young person, and that four years, if you take that out, you're a really young person coming in. So your, your professional um, career is going to span you know, 30 to 40 plus years. It's a long run. And, um, you know, just be patient if it takes six months or even a year longer to get kicked off, either at the, at the job maybe of your dreams or at the company or even geographically, you know, where it is. But I, I do think um, from my own experience of graduating back in like 92 during a, a really steep recession and the challenges back then, and, and I, I remember them really clearly today, but I think it made me a lot stronger, quite frankly, and, and more resilient. And what you're going to realize, so this is Block's 50th anniversary year, right? So what a year uh, for it to happen with this COVID deal. But, you know, we've been through now, if you go back and look, you know, four or five significant economic recessions, um, bubble bursting of 2000, financial crisis of 08, uh, the 91, 92 recession. And so, um whether we like it or not, they're part of life, and and uh, the world's going to keep uh, people are going to keep eating. We're you know society is going to keep moving forward, and I would just encourage people to hang in there. You know, be a uh, be scrappy, leverage your network, make some phone calls, and um, and it's all going to turn out to be fine in the end. It just may take a little longer than you thought. That's awesome, Dan. Yeah. So thanks so much, Dan, for joining us today. I so enjoyed learning a little bit more about you and getting to talk with you. Um, it's always a good time. Go Bye, Dan. All right, Regan, have a great weekend and uh, stay safe and healthy.